Hi, I'm Kim Demain, principal at the secondary campus of Cole Valley Christian Schools. A key part of our mission is to help students reach their fullest potential relationally. At the secondary level, this involves having strong relationships with each student to help them navigate the growing opportunities to make healthy and wise choices that impact many areas of their lives. We also commit to come alongside them when challenges result from making those choices. Studies are emerging about the declining resiliency of our kids. This is due to many influences such as technology, instant gratification, and good-hearted parents who want to remove every speed bump from their child's path. However, the book of James instructs us to consider it pure joy when you face trials of many kinds, for you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance, and perseverance must finish its work so that you can be mature and complete, not lacking in anything. This juxtaposition has motivated CVCS to enter into this trend and fill the gap so our students come out of our school with resiliency, more able to successfully persevere through the stressors in their future while allowing God to hone their hearts. If you come to CVCS, you will be entering into a partnership with us. What does partnership mean? It means we're working together on a foundation of trust through all of the different issues that may arise. We trust God to walk us through issues according to the guidelines set out in His Word. This benefits the students, the families, and the staff. As parents, we have to trust that even in challenges, God will grow their resiliency, guide their path, and prepare them for the ministry He has for them in their future. Fostering resiliency in our students requires us to shepherd and challenge them. If you challenge students without a relationship that sets up for rules without a relationship which leads to rebellion. If you shepherd them with a relationship but are not willing to challenge them, they are not gonna reach their fullest potential. The balance with which our teachers shepherd and challenge sets them apart and brings deep respect from our students. As students encounter challenges, we want them to work through them alongside caring adults who will encourage them towards their potential with the word of God shining a light on their path. Reaching their fullest potential relationally means helping students learn how to persevere in their friendships. We challenge students to welcome others and appreciate the diversity that God built into every single person. We know that relationships are oftentimes confusing and messy as sinful humans work and strive together. We do not want to shelter students from this reality, but rather we want wise adults that are called to walk alongside students as they make relational decisions and mend relational ruptures. Paul tells us we will never win someone to Christ by arguing with them. Therefore, we want to help students learn how to have a civil discussion that seeks understanding of the other person's perspective that demonstrates kindness and love. In doing so, they may earn the right to be heard. In this light, one child's accusation of bullying can become an opportunity for relational development as they seek understanding and are willing to forgive one another. Our weekly advisory class following chapel provides a time for students to walk through life with a loving adult who will journey with them from 7th through 12th grades. These relational skills will impact their ability to be effective and have influence in their universities, marriages, families, and workplaces as they learn to persevere through differences rather than dismissing those who think differently. Behaviorally, because our desire is that our students can work through challenges, we don't want our school to be a speed bump free environment for them. At the secondary level, we have a core value that we encourage success rather than try to prevent failure. Though it may seem satisfying to give many rules to prevent failure, that would not allow students the opportunity to grow in responsibility and decision making. We work hard to find the line of freedoms in an environment where we have a variety of opinions on what is appropriate at each level. We want to prepare them to stand on truth in a rapidly changing world. We want them to have those discussions with us where we can show them what God's word says about life choices before they leave our halls. Dress code, for example. We've chosen to give our kids freedom in their clothing choices within boundaries. It's an opportunity to engage with them and help them walk through the challenge that that brings, such as, my friend has nicer clothes than I do. What does modesty mean? How do I understand how I'm viewed? In these choices, we have to give our kids an opportunity to succeed, and sometimes that means they are going to fail. When they do, we walk alongside them and help them grow their understanding. We're trying to model God's grace, His truth, His love. 
In discipline situations, our desire is for the heart of our kids to be reconciled to Him. Thus, we focus less on external behavior and instead focus on the internal heart of the student. As we get to know our kids and discover their potential, our hope is also that they see our love for them regardless of their choices. We may not like what they are doing in some circumstances, but it does not change our love for them. And it certainly does not change God's. Because God loves us so much, He is willing to discipline us and let us suffer the consequences of our choices to return our heart to Him. We must do the same. Therefore, at CBCS, there are some behavioral issues that are decided individually considering the student's heart. We do not want to foster students who outwardly look Christian without a heart for the Lord. We recognize that behavior is just an outflow or a deeper state of their heart. Thus, we want to create an environment where students' hearts grow towards God and their behavior reflects this devotion. We strive to create a community where students know they can come forward and admit that they need help. We want our kids to be honest with us, knowing that we'll work through any issue and we've got safe adults who desire their full restoration. We don't want whitewashed tombs. Rather, we want people whose hearts are for the Lord and who recognize their fallibility and want to return to obedience to our God who loves them. Should you desire to enter into a partnership with us, please contact our office to set up a tour. We would love to have you become a part of our Coal Valley Christian family. Oh, 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 oh